Hey, it's Ben here, and in this very quick video, we're going to have a look at how we use the transition shortcut to add transitions, and then also how we can change that transition shortcut so we can use any transition quickly on the timeline. So the first thing is if we want to add a transition, we can click on a clip and hold down Command and tap T, and that will add our default transition, which at the moment is set to cross dissolve. You can find this transition in the menu underneath Edit and add cross dissolve so it takes on the the name of the transition that is your default in the menus and you can add this to multiple clips at any one time so if i select these three clips and do command and t it will add that default transition to all those clips in one go so this is the point at which it becomes useful to actually change your transition to something else if you're going to add it to multiple clips so i'm going to just undo that command and z and i can come across to my transitions across here you'll see your transitions with these two little triangles here and basically i can change my default transition which is cross dissolve to any other transition so we'll scroll down here we'll go for some of the movement transitions and i am going to right click on the color panes transition we'll right click on that and i'm going to make that the default so now that means when i come to a clip and do command t it's going to add those color panes transitions in place of the cross dissolve. And you can see in my edit menu, the transition option has changed to add color panes rather than add cross dissolve. So this is useful. We can add color panes here by using Command and T to all of those clips all in one go. So if you're developing your own transitions, you want to make those your default, then this is a quick and easy way that you can add it to multiple clips all in one go. If you have any questions about adding transitions, then please do leave them in the comments below. I have a few other videos about it, and I'll leave links to those in the description underneath this video. Hope you find this useful. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.